Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I will show you how to make this exact animation in Blender using fluid particles. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render for better shading. And then click S to scale up the default cube. Do something like this. And then left click to confirm. And then click S, then set to scale the cube on the Z axis. Now, because the uh, fluid particles will flow in from above, we need to delete the top face. So go into edit mode, and then go to face select, and delete the top face by clicking X. Then go back to object mode, and now we need to duplicate it, and I will show you why. So shift D to duplicate, and then go into edit mode, then hold in shift to uh, select the two faces, and then click X to delete them. And now we have two objects, one that is the uh, collision object and one that we actually see in the animation. So let's add collision to the uh, collision object and then deselect the visibility of the object so that we can see it either in the render or the viewport. Now let's select the object that we can actually see in the animation and add the solidify modifier. And by adding the solidify modifier we will add some thickness to the object which uh, looks better. So click apply to apply it. And then let's select the lamp and add some lighting to the scene. So uh, change it into a sun, change the size to one, click use nodes and change the strength to seven. Then click G to uh, grab the sun and R to rotate. And that's basically all we need for the lighting in the scene. So let's add the, uh, let's say the shower head. So click shift A and add a cylinder, then click G, then set to grab it on the Z axis, then click S, then shift set to scale it only on the X and Y axis. And then click S, then set to scale it on the Z axis. Left click to confirm. And then let's go into uh, edit mode and select the two faces. So hold in shift and select both of them. Then click N and increase the mean increase value to one. You will see what the mean increase value does later. So select the lower face and click X to delete the lower face. Then select the top face, click E to extrude, right click and click S to scale the extrusion down. Then click E once again to extrude it. And if you want to grab the extrusion once again, you just click G then set to grab it on the Z axis. So let's go back to the object mode, and if you want to grab the whole object on the z-axis, just click G, then set to grab it on the z-axis. Let's add the subdivision surface modifier to increase the amount of vertices in the object, and make it smoother, so about 4 on the render value. And let's go into the uh, solidify modifier and add some thickness to the object. So something like this. And now we can add the inflow object. So make sure to move the 3D cursor. So click Shift S to move the 3D cursor to the middle of the object. So cursor to selected. And then click Shift A and add a circle. And the circle will appear right where the 3D cursor is. And S to scale. And then go into edit mode by clicking Tab. And make sure to fill the circle, which is really important to make the simulation work. So F to fill. And then we can go into the particle settings. So go into particle settings, make a new particle system. Now for the amount of uh, particles, I would probably set it to 50k if you have a slow computer. And if you have a normal computer, set it to 100k or 100,000. And then for the end, which is when the uh, inflow stop, set it to 100. And then for the lifetime, which is how long the particles uh, live, set it to 5000, just to be sure. Now, the emitter object values decides how the particles are emitted. And we will set the set value to minus 8, so that the particles are emitted downwards. Which is um, what we remember from the final animation. So set it to minus 8. Okay, so let's go down to the physics and change the size to 0.1. And then select multiply mass, and then size deflect. And then change the physics type to uh, fluid. And then we need to scroll up to the uh, subframes 
and change it to 5 to make the simulation better. And by better I mean more calculations. So let's play the animation to see what the particles looks like before we go to the next step of the tutorial. And as you can see, we have a uh, fluid looking type of uh, particle simulation. So click Shift Set to go into render view and let's add the first uh, material, which is a kind of black material for the ground and the walls. And then for the world settings, let's set it to a light whitish color. Then select the shower head, if we can call it that, and change it into a glossy material and set the roughness to 0.3 and give it a uh, blue material. I'm speeding up this part because you can add whatever color you want, so I'm not going to waste your time too much. So once you have the materials and the colors that you want, we can go to the next step of the tutorial, which is to bake the animation. So let's select the particles, and then go up to uh, Catch, and then click Bake. And that will calculate all of the um, particle movements throughout the whole animation, so that we don't have to uh, go through it ever again. So uh, now after maybe half an hour of baking, you will have the animation all calculated for you, as you can see. So now we can go to the next step of the tutorial, which is to add the sphere. Click G to grab it, and then M, and move it to another layer. And let's go back to the uh, particles. So select the particle system, and now we will add the sphere to the particle system. So since halo particles are invisible, we will use the sphere as the particles instead, so that we get some real volume to the animation. So uh, now the next step is to select the sphere up in the menu, and then add a new material. And this will be the material for the fluid. So uh, make it uh, glossy, set the uh, roughness to 0.3, Let's move to one of the frames, go into rendered view, let's add a blue color. And as always, the materials and the colors you add is completely up to you, so uh, just add whatever colors you want. I usually like to tweak a little bit on the colors until I have the color I like. So uh, I'm just testing out some different variations, but I think I will end up with uh, this color something like this. Okay, so click numpad 0 to see through the camera and select the camera, shift F to use the fly cam and move around with W, A, S and D just like in a video game and find the position you want to have for the camera. Left click to confirm and if we look through the rendered view I'm very happy with the results so now we can go to the next step which is to go into the render settings which is the camera icon. If you have a GPU, just make sure to use the GPU. If not, just use the CPU. And set the resolution quality to 100%. And then set the output to a new folder. And give the new folder a name. Then select the folder and give the animation a name. And then click Enter. And then for the compression, I usually set it to a very low value to uh, make sure the image is good looking. So set it to maybe 0 or 15. A high samples value will make the render look better, but it will also take longer to render. And for the performance, I would recommend increasing the tiles to 500 if you have a GPU. If not, just leave them at 64. And then let's move to a certain frame and make a test render. So click Render. And by making a test render, you will see how long it takes to render each frame as well as what the uh, final animation will look like. So uh, then we can make adjustments accordingly. And uh, what I'm going to do next is to change some of the colors for the materials, as well as uh, making a new bake for a even higher number of particles. So as you can see, I'm changing the color of the fluid and um, just testing out different materials. I think I'll make it something like this, a little bit brighter. And then for world settings, I'll make it a little bit yellow. 
And what I'm going to do next is very optional, and that is only if you want to increase the number of particles. So I'm going to show you how to do this, but if you don't want to make a new bake, you can just keep the uh, same values. So uh, let's make it 150k, and then bake it once again. So click bake, and this time it's going to take even longer, and if you don't want to bake once again, you can just leave it at the old bake, as I said. And now we're at the end of the tutorial. So we have the uh, simulation and we have the materials and the lighting that we need. So now we can go into the render settings and render out the animation. So we'll go into render settings, the camera icon, and then click animation to render out the animation. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching. If you want to get really technical with Blender, make sure to get my uh, tank course available at Udemy.com, link in the description.